Match, the official vehicle of the UFC. The champion is 36. The challenger is 30. Anderson Silva will have a five and a half inch reach advantage. With the introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by City of Rio. Our three judges join this contest at Octagon Side R. Doug Crosby, Sally Amato, Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This bout is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Dodge, the official vehicle of the UFC and City of Rio. And now, senoras y senores do Brazil and UFC fans watching around the world. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a big martial artist, holding a professional record, 27 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 183 pounds. Fighting out of Kanago, Japan, presenting the challenger, Yushin Thunder Okami. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and Jiu Jitsu fighter, holding a professional record, 28 wins, 4 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Cura Team of Brazil, he is the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider Silva! All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep it clean. Touch it up, let's make it official. Okay, let's fight. Wow, no touch of the gloves in this rematch of the rumble that took place on The Rock in 2006 when both men fought at 175. Okami and Silva for the middleweight championship. Ready to fight, ready. Here we go! Tonight's clock brought to you by Shark Knight 3D in theaters everywhere September 2nd. Southpaw against Southpaw. Black and yellow for the Spider. White trunks for Thunder. Okami comes out stalking. Anderson Silva usually in the first round, he kind of takes it to analyze. He's like a computer. He watches what you do, how you're moving, how you're coming forward, what you're doing to you defend yourself, picks apart your game, and it's pretty much over from there. Once he figures you out, it's gonna be a short night or it's gonna be a long night of pain. And he always likes to toss that jab out just to gather his distance and try to start to set up his opponent. Nice circular movement, not going straight back. And you'll notice he's going against an other southpaw. And when he does that, when, when Anderson goes against another southpaw, he will switch his stance. He's able to, able to go lefty and righty, and he'll look to confuse Okami with both stances throughout this fight. It is nearly impossible to emulate Anderson Silva in a training camp because there are very few, if any, who strike like Anderson Silva. He can do so much, you know. It's, it's not that he's the fastest striker in the world. He's not the most powerful striker in the world, but he has the best timing, and he is the most accurate striker in the world. Middleweight title on the line tonight, Saturday, September 24th. Gears of War presents UFC 135, where the light heavyweight title is on the line. Johnny Bones Jones, Rampage Jackson, plus the Hall of Famer Matt Hughes against Diego Sanchez. 
Live on pay-per-view, nine in the East, six in the West. Coverage begins with prelims live on Spike in the U.S. Rogers Sportsnet in Canada. Check your listings internationally. Big swing by Silva. All these movements, these dancing, these feints, they're all done to try to analyze Okami. How is he reacting? Anderson Silva is putting all that information together and planning his attack for the, for the, for the following rounds. Circling and switching his stance again is the champion. Trying to close the distance is the challenger. Okami looking to use that Team Quest dirty boxing style, grab behind the head, kind of that half tie clinch, and use those uppercuts, try to rough up his opponent. But uh, if, you, if you're gonna do a half tie clinch, do not let Anderson Silva get the full tie clinch because knees will be coming up to your face. Okami, in very classy fashion, said the win, which came by a disqualification for an illegal upkick back in 06. He said he's never considered it my victory. He considers tonight the continuation of the battle with Anderson Silva. They definitely have unfinished business, and you know this is a rematch many years in the making. They both evolved so much since that time. That was a catchway fight of 175. Here they are, 185, going at it for the UFC 185 belt in Rio de Janeiro, and uh, interesting to see that Anderson really is kind of content to stay on the cage. He, he is able to get an underhook and turn, but he's kind of content to kind of play that tie clinch style with him. Well, we saw how he's able to ragdoll Rich Franklin not once but twice with some of the most vicious clinch work we have ever seen in the octagon. And if he can get both hands around the back of the head, of Okami and start to control that upper body. You are in big trouble, as you mentioned. Okami slides down, looking for the single. Okami didn't like that knee. He did not like that knee at all. Quickly went to the legs, trying to take him down. But it looks like Okami's trying to wear Anderson Silva down from that Greco clinch, from that half tie clinch. Definitely taking a page out of Tail Sonnen's book, but with not as many uh, leg attacks here. He is big and powerful. He has tremendous thunder in his ground and pound, but I think that Yushin Okami would be the first to admit he doesn't have the pure takedown skills of the high-level wrestler of Chael Sonnen. Yeah, so Chael. he'll need to set up those takedowns with some strikes. Yep, Chael will get in on a leg, use that power double, switch from a single to a high crotch. Okami's more of a... Greco-Roman guy, he's got a judo background, kind of, he'll work his takedowns from the clinch and up against the fence. 20 seconds on the clock here in the first round. Title fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Quick kick by Silva. Great head movement by the champion. Nice uppercut. Anderson starting to let it go just a bit here at the end of the round. Head kick. Good finish for the champion. Our corner cam brought to you by the city of Rio. Respira. Chill. No problem. Cadê o gelo? Cadê o gelo? Respira. A little bit of ice. Water. Movimenta. Finta e pega. Tá com a distância perfeita. Faint and hit him. Breathe. Move o tronco, fita, o diabo tá pegando, diabo direto, passa de encontro, cruza a água, diabo de encontro, a mão da frente tá pegando, mas se move, pro seu lado, jogar o seu direto, tá bom? Você sai mais rápido, ele tá parado, não defende, tá parado. Finta e pô, vamos descer. Pound your feet, pound your feet. Put pressure. You're doing good. You're doing okay. Use your feint and be first. Beautiful left high kick right to the back of the head, back of the neck of Yushin Okami. Definitely surprised him. He came up with that one very, very quick. Used mostly hands throughout that round and came up quick with a very nice kick to the head. Well, if he can help it, he'd rather not be placed on his back. He's doing a good job so far. Both corners imploring their fighters to faint and come in. Nice quick jab and a good combination. Silva pushing the pace here early in the second. Anderson starting to find his rhythm. The jab by Okami. 
Anderson definitely turned up a notch there with his intensity. A lot of movement. His hands are very low. He has to be careful with that. His head movement is very, very good. He gets away with it. His head movement sick. Oh! Straight right. Knocks down Yushin Okami. Unbelievable. Yeah. Anderson Silva will break the rules and make you pay for it. Unbelievable is the best word to describe what this man does in the octagon against the world's best. It was the same thing he did against Forrest Griffin. He drops his hands, asks you to come in, and then makes you pay with just a jab, and he drops you. Unbelievable. He loved Muhammad Ali growing up, continues to look at Muhammad Ali as one of his heroes. He's got that type of charisma in the octagon. Listen to this place, sold out. HSBC Arena Rio de Janeiro. First UFC in Brazil in 13 years. Big Nog and Shogun, both winners tonight by knockout. He rocks him again. Now he's looking to finish. The way that he can confuse you out there is absolutely mind boggling. His hands are down. Knee to the midsection. Okami trying to protect himself. He is so accurate with his strikes, Mike. Big elbow to the midsection. This fight's going to be stopped right now. It is all over! Anderson Silva remains the middleweight champion. Finishing Yushin Okami in the second round. This is classic Anderson Silva. Classic Anderson Silva gets you to feel comfortable, drops his hands, gets you to come in, and pow, out of nowhere, he will hurt you and take you out. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Gets him to come in. That was a jab, Mike. A jab that just dropped him out of nowhere. Never seen Yushin Okami get dropped with something like that. Just so accurate. Once again, it was the right hand, but it was kind of a shovel punch there, almost a kind of a uppercut and a hook. And right there, just picks his shots, and Okami was hurt. Finishes the job. Brilliant, brilliant performance from the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter that I've ever seen. Let the party get started here in Rio. They love this man, a true rock star, here in Brazil. The greatest champion in UFC history. And the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world today, Anderson Silva. Defends his title for a UFC record ninth consecutive time. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is on the stop of this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Silva. What a great moment for Anderson Silva fighting here in Brazil for the first time since 2003, avenging his loss to Yushin Okami, remaining unbeaten in the octagon, and he will talk to Kenny Florian. Anderson, you know, it's another brilliant performance. Um, you know, you were fighting here in your, in where you train. This is where it all started for you. You had some big sponsors come up from behind you. Did, did you feel any pressure coming into this fight? Você está aqui lutando no local onde você treina e a gente sentiu que havia essa grande pressão toda para você nessa luta. Uh, I'm training. I'm training hard for my team. Uh, Minotauro, uh, Rogério Minotauro, for all the guys. I'm training hard. I'm staying here for fight. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy, bro. Sorry. 
Eu tô treinando duro, tô treinando com a equipe do Minotauro, Minotauro, e aqui tô muito, muito feliz com essa luta. Tô treinando aqui no Rio. Let's take a look at the, the shot that dropped Yushin. You know, it was a very similar setup to what you did against Forrest Griffin. Your hands were down. You got him to come in and commit, and you dropped him with the jab. Is this something that you work on all the time in training, or is this something you just come up with on the fly? I train hard for the best guys in the world. I train, I punch, uh, Cigano punch my face all the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready for fight. Eu treino duro com os melhores caras do mundo. O Cigano me dá soco na cara o tempo todo. Eu treino muito. Anderson Silva, you know, you're a legend in the sports. It's an honor to watch you work. Congratulations. What do you want next? What's next for you? My clone. My <laughs> clone. <laughs> Congratulations. Anderson Silva. Aí, galera. Olha só, só um minuto, só um minuto. Só um minuto, o papo é sério agora. Aí, vou imortalizar aqui um dizer do Capitão Nascimento. Senhores, nunca serão, jamais serão. A message to the hometown crowd here in Rio tonight from the greatest champion in UFC history, Anderson, the Spider Silva defeats Yushin